In a world of so much stuff, it's you I seek, my little diamond in the rough. Just like digging for gold, treasure hunting never gets old. When everyone walks by and no one takes a look, I'll find that person who knows what making you took. If you've been stuck at the bottom of a box or next to a garden gnome, we'll do our best to find you a new forever home. If you're ready to be appreciated, even if you're dull and faded, have no fear, because rescued relics are here. Let's go treasure hunting. It's yard sales. Did you know in some towns, especially here in Kingman, Arizona, yard sales start on Thursday. So, off we go. Hmm. What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? What does any of this do? Bark solver, huh? I have no idea about any of this stuff. <clears throat> What's this? What does this do? Oh, where'd it go? That's cool. Did you see my cart get away from me? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I turned around and I'm like, ah! <laughs> Where'd it go? <laughs> Thank you. 
that want honest, you know, honest people. I, I like my dealers as long as they if they play fair with me. Yeah, if they play fair with me, I want them to make money. They can't they can't stay in business without making money. And this young lady we're gonna end your wallet, that's our game plan. <laughs> well, if you like honesty then I'm an eBay reseller and I'm recording right now. Yay, thank you. But I will block your face. Usually I have it down well, enough care. where it doesn't get people's faces, you yeah. know. I'm trying to grow my channel. I got 196 people. Awesome. Very good. Yeah, you know, it's funny how life just goes the right direction for you. So you kind of heard what I talked about the uh -huh. resellers. You know, let's just be fair. Yeah. Help the birds and help you. Yeah. Just pulling that trailer and look at that trailer. It pulled up the map power over there. Dukes a hazard. The real marbles? Yeah, I don't know. Oh, darn. Oh, maybe it does. So this one didn't have oh. the marbles, and it's in a lot worse shape. But I still think it's worth picking up. I paid five dollars. I'm thinking maybe someone will want it for twenty. How much for this, uh, bottle? $5. Okay. Got all the bread. Did you look inside? Mm -hmm. Got all the bread. That's awesome. Okay. That's worth about $100, I think. No, it's beautiful. <laughs> I love it. Whatever that is. Okay. Hey, you want to know a secret? What? Did you buy that one? Yeah. That's in my pile. Do you ever see a pink Volkswagen Hot Wheels? Oh, I got boxes of Hot Wheels, brand new in packages. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, a, pink, a pink, like a pink van, like the old Scooby Doo van. Okay. A pink one? Um. It'd be worth thousands. Really? Let's talk about Thomas the Train. So, there are different sizes of Thomas the Train. There's also different styles, like some can go on a track, some can go not on a track. Let's talk about the ones that I did look up and found. Uh, the first one is Spencer and um, he also has a coach behind it. It says 2004 and that one sold for $14.99. The next one is uh, Thomas and Friends Oliver the Excavator. He's orange. Um, this one was made in 2008 and as you can see, it sells for about $19. We also have Byron, and he is a freewheeling solder construction bulldozer. Um, the one I have is from 2009. Thomas and Friends Wooden Railway Train Tank, and that's Patrick the Dump Truck. And he sells for about 13 to 20 dollars. Nelson, he is a dump truck as well. He's on a track master. He sells between 9 and um, 23 dollars. It also depends on the year it was built. It depends on if it has certain colors, if it has the truck in the back there's so many things you need to look for once you pick one up there's certain specifics that people look for for each one of the Thomas and Friends here we have the Thomas and Friends railway they call them troublesome truck lot 
and one has a cover and it sold for $34.98. They have little faces on them. If you sell a lot of two, you might get $18. It just depends. In my batch that I purchased, there were four sets of Tommy Trackmaster with Clarabelle and Annie. And so I'm thinking might be able to get about 25 per set. And I had four sets. They're all in real good condition. And a lot of these, I haven't opened the back yet to make sure that the ones that require batteries will work. The last one that I'm going to talk about is the most expensive. I could not believe it when I looked it up. And that is the Thomas Trackmaster Plastic Buster the Steamroller from 2008. The prices on this are from 30 to almost $40. Oh, but that's with free shipping. So I would say about 35. For all the tracks that I got, I'm probably going to sell them as a lot and maybe make it an auction starting at $50. That's just because there are so many. And when I added it all up after what I paid and probably after the fees from eBay, it hopefully will be about a $350 profit. If you like this video, I hope you like me and decide to subscribe. Until next time, happy treasure hunting.